Slinger Speedway has quite a storied history. It started in 1948, and you um, most recently bought the track, so you're only the third owner in those last four decades, five decades. Typically, we start April 1st per the local condition of use permit, and we can have cars in the racetrack. And that was backed up two weeks for the safe at home. This last Sunday, we had an enduro schedule that, that was postponed. We're off for Mother's Day, and then we're, we plan on kicking in again uh, May 17th, depending upon what happens in Madison. So if Safer at Home is lifted, we plan on going May 17th. The bottom line, typically you pay your taxes, pay your bills, and you can run your business. How can there be a condo project a few miles down the road that's got a hundred different contractors on it, and that's deemed essential? And my business is non-essential because, I don't know, I don't know why. I make a living operating about 20 days out of the year on Sundays and then throw a Saturday or Tuesday in there and every day that's cut back makes it that much harder to make a living and so I can pay my taxes and employ we employ between 75 and 100 people here seasonally but the facility here you can see we seat um, about 10,000 people so even if we operate at 25 percent we can we can do okay. If this gets dragged out uh, too much longer. What, what's the future like for Slinger Super Speed, would, would you say? Well, I think it could be the end because there's not too many people like myself that are willing to step in and do what I do. And in a tough year like this, when you have Mother Nature and government stopping your business, it makes it impossible. Is the virus real? Absolutely it's real. Is our government overreach that's ridiculous? Absolutely.